finally back in Canada. What's going on guys? Brandon Harden here. Hope you're having a great day. It is the 8th of January and as you can see, we are currently back in Toronto. We're in a new apartment right now. This is actually the place that I'm going to be staying in for the next six months. I'm going to give you a quick tour. When you walk in the front door, this is what you see. This is like the main part of the apartment. So we've got a lot of living space right here. We've got the island and the kitchen where the whole prep of this year is going to happen. Huge double storage mirror right there nice cool marble wall in here is a washer and a dryer then through here we have Brittany here we have some towels desk right there this is the hallway leading off to the two bedrooms and the bathroom we have another mirror right here some I don't know I think this is like a, a foam roller I'm not really too sure what this is here but this is the full-length mirror bathroom this is what we're working with shower and bath really convenient toilet I gotta be down. <laughs> Mirror, sink, all looking really modern. This is the master bedroom. This is where me and Brittany will be spending a lot of our time. And then we have the second spare room, which is actually being used for storage right now. As you can see, all of our suitcases. Spare bed, just in case anyone stops. And this is like a desk. I'm probably gonna like set my Mac up here and like probably work, or if not, I'll set it up in the kitchen. This is the majority of the new place. It's about a 40 minute commute to Burlington, which is where Pure Muscle and Fitness is, the gym that I train at, which is okay, because if you wanna live in Toronto, Toronto, realistically anywhere in Toronto. This is just outside the city. It's about a 20 minute drive into the city. A little bit extra driving every day to the gym and back. I honestly like don't mind because this place is great. The gym is great. It's worth the journey. Brittany was kind enough to bring some supplements back from Kentucky. This is stuff that we actually left there from when I used to live there like earlier last year. And the guy that's actually gave us this Airbnb has fully stocked the fridge up with just like a couple bits and bobs, but obviously the main staple of my diet, <laughs> which is White Monster. We do need to go shopping to get some other stuff as well. But the guy that actually owns this Airbnb, he owns a couple of units and he also has a couple cars that he rents out on Choro. But the Airbnb and the Choro rental of like an abundance of cars that I have access to while I'm here. I didn't even know where to start. He's like, he's such a sound guy. And he was like, dude, anything you need, I've got your back. And I was like, okay, let me just take you outside. Just walking over to the car right now. Sorry if the wind is bad. It's actually really windy right now. But as you can see, the location that the apartment is actually located is actually really clean. Looking at this thing, I'm in like such disbelief. It's a joke. Here we have it. This is one of uh, the couple cars I'm actually gonna be driving while I'm here. He said there's like a Corvette, there's a Tesla, there's an R8. And the one thing that I love about it is the fact that it is red, just like my Polo R line back in the UK. So I feel like I'm basically driving my car in the UK, except this one is on steroids. Let's get inside, show you the inside. This is the steering wheel. There's like a dash right there with the logo. It's only a two seater car. So yeah, this is all the space I have. I'm not gonna like go into the specs of this car other than the fact that it's got like 600 horsepower. And I'm pretty sure my car at home has like 80 horsepower but i've been driving it for the past day it is literally inside who thought it would be a good idea to put me in a 600 horsepower car i just don't understand i just do not get it and i cannot believe i'm gonna be driving this for the next six months i'm gonna have this for a few more days try out a couple of the other cars because why the hell not shout out to you bro the guy's called john He's a sound lad. Right now, we're gonna fill up the fridge. We need to go to the grocery store, pick up some food, come back, get ready for the gym, and hit a workout. We're actually training today at Pure Muscle and Fitness with Quinton and Antoine. You'll see them later in the video. Absolutely massive. Gonna make me look like a bitch, and it's leg day. So uh, yeah, this is it. We're in Toronto, the start of a new year. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. <laughs> One thing I'm gonna seriously have to start getting used to is the cold in Toronto because obviously in the UK, like the weather's never good. The cold in Toronto is like bone shaking cold. Like I'm pretty good with the cold. I don't really feel the cold too much compared to like the average person, but it's cold as shit. And I don't have like that many winter clothes. So I'm probably gonna have to go shopping at some point. We do need to fill up the fridge because I actually have a new meal plan. Things are being switched up a little bit. So we're gonna go right now to the grocery store to pick up some goods. <laughs> First on the list is blueberries, so we're gonna get two packs of these. Half ripe, half not. Some I can eat now, some I can eat tomorrow. Then we have a new addition to the diet, which is actually apples. Haven't had an apple in probably like 10 years. So I'm gonna get two of the red ones and two of the green ones, because I don't know which ones I'm gonna actually prefer, so I'm just gonna get both. Asparagus, spinach, just gonna get one bag of this. I've gotta have fresh pineapple, not like that tin shit that's covered in sugar. Two zucchinis, I actually wanna buy one of those spiralers so you can have like spaghetti zucchini, I don't know if you've seen it, but it actually looks really good, so yeah, two 
smoothies. Brittany is helping me select the potatoes. Moving over to the protein, we've got two things of lean ground beef. You can get three packets of chicken, a packet of large Quaker oats. Next on the list we have jasmine rice. All my rice is weighed uncooked, so it's better to buy the uncooked rice instead of buying the packets of rice, because it could be expanded in like different levels, so always buy uncooked jasmine rice. So if you can get two more packets, we've got three in total. Now if you're an OG, you know exactly what this stuff is. Vegeta, the best seasoning in the world. If you don't have it, then get it. All right, Brittany's getting some pink salt. Sick. We're gonna get some whole wheat bagels. These aren't the specific bagels that I need right now, but whole wheat is like the best that we can do. So yeah, some of these crunchy, natural, organic, vegetarian, vegan. Yeah. I don't know what the, basic, we got almond butter. All right, so now we are almost done. We just need some large eggs. And then finally, we need some egg whites. Bag number three, bag number four, bag number five, random pineapple, and bag number six. All right, there we go. Food in, got the gym bag. Now, let's go to the gym. <sighs> if you didn't see it when I was here before, this is the gym that I'm gonna be in for like the whole of my prep, because I'm actually starting prep on March 1st, like the beginning of March is when prep will actually begin. Day one, hard body shredding, 2020 road to the pro card. I literally just signed up, I'm now a member of this gym is official. And uh, like I said earlier, we've got legs with Quinton and Antoine. They're gonna take me through the workout. I'm gonna get warmed up real quick, do some calves, and then, uh, yeah, get things started. <laughs> so what is it we're doing right now? I tell them it's called the sore right, because this muscle is tight. Kind of like a trigger point right on it. Just follow the abdomen down the line so your abdomen muscles are here, and you kind of know as you breathe. So they're super yeah. tight right now, and they limit your actual mobility in your hips when you're squatting. I feel like I should like start preparing a lot more, but I feel like these guys are a lot bigger. <laughs> Me, so they have to do a lot more to prepare. Yeah, you just said you do calves. That's what you do. <laughs> Your calves are small. <laughs> right now, I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> I was just like working on my IT band a little bit. Your fucking legs are like the size of tree trunks. Like, <laughs> how old are you? 24. 20, 20 fucking <laughs> Nice. Yes, shut up. <laughs> Brendan Hart calves body. Let's go. Come on. See, this is it. This is the future I'll never have. That's what Quinton does. Sent off. The calves. <laughs> Yeah, with the lying leg curls here, I like to do that. I kind of warm up and do pyramid sets. And then, uh, yeah, pyramid. Pyramid. I've never heard of a pyramid before. I know. It mocking my accent. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> the partner in the back is going to grab the ankles, and you're going to slowly do like reps to really get all the okay. fibers. Come on. Okay. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Come on, control on the way down. All the way, all the way up. Control, control. Yeah, that's it. Again. Push a bit further, Q. Go up, push a bit further. Come on, all the way. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Yeah, right there. That's good. Combo. Yep. Yep. There we go. Nice. Fucking hard. I'm spotting you and he was spotting me. It's <laughs> Let's go. So <sighs> spotting. <sighs> Come on. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Come on, come on. Good man. Come on, come on. Up. Good. Come on, come on. Hey, this is uh, Antoine, a hard buddy. Hope you're having a great day. <laughs> Now the hamstrings are well and truly fully warmed up. We're gonna take a break, move on to quads. All right, so we've got the new leg press just got in last week. We're gonna be utilizing this. What's happening? How's the workout? Don't have to ever give up. Uh, <laughs> delete yourself. Just delete yourself from life. So what, load it more? We're gonna load it up, load it all the way. Okay. And we'll do like constant tension, okay? I love the fact that these guys are like 300 pound heavier than me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna try and lift the same weight. Emphasis on fucking try. He's got good legs. What is he talking about? He does. Let's go, Brandon. Come on. Yeah. For the UK, <laughs> <laughs> right, 
Yeah, she's super sick. Man. This with uh, one arm. <laughs> Try to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> do it for Nigeria. <laughs> what? He said do it for the UK earlier. Scottish, man. What the fuck? <laughs> He's Scottish. <laughs> Come on, yeah, beautiful Latina. <laughs> plates on plates. <laughs> Come on, come on. Let's go. Come on, come on. Do it. Going. Going. Think I'm in good place. Going. Come on. Come on. Yep. Let's go. Do them slow too. Do the do some slow ones, slow reps. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Fuck. Come on, let's go. Sweet, sweet love. There's just something about drop sets on the leg press that absolutely just ruins me. And I cannot be the only person that feels absolutely dead after a triple drop set. Another quad exercise, we're doing the, what's this called? The pendulum, the pendulum. Typically on the pendulum, I won't go above two plates, but considering we have like moral support, we got three. If you want to be a pro, you got to squat like a pro. There we go. Oh, okay. Oh shit. Put that on the wall. It's going up fast, let's go. Yep, come on. That's four reps. We got ten for sure. Let's go. Come on. Five. Come on. Three more. Two more. One more. Good one. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. Good recording skills, Brandon. <laughs> So, as you can see by this workout, I may as well just go and fuck myself. For the next two days, I'm gonna be probably needing a wheelchair. There's no way I'm gonna be mobile after this. And to further the quad manipulation, I think we're doing walking lunges straight after this. Chains, so look cooler. Antoine's pretending this is really hard when it's actually really easy. There you go. You did three more. <laughs> Are you very serious? You fake screaming. Like. <laughs> Photo shoot style. How to look hardcore. Yeah. I think we're done. Yeah. Okay. I'll, actually, I'm gonna do some quick leg extensions. Just because. And then we'll, we'll dip off. Sweet. Oh, fuck. Time for dinner. That's a good workout. Sick. First, second workout here. <laughs> Killed it. Hope you have a great day. <laughs> Hey, you ready? <laughs> oh. Just got back from the gym. I have to get ready really quickly because as you know, two, maybe three days ago now, I actually turned 23 and me and Brittany couldn't celebrate my birthday together. I actually didn't do anything for my birthday because I never actually do. I'm the type of guy like I don't like making a big deal about my birthday and I kind of celebrated enough on New Year's. So I kind of just like treated that as my celebration for turning 23. Brittany tonight is, she's like booked like a special restaurant experience kind of thing. So we're about to get ready. I got 10 minutes to change out of these dirty, smelly, sweaty gym clothes. Freshen up, try look fancy. Now ready for dinner. This is my attempts at trying to look fancy, wearing the exact same thing I wore earlier. I probably still smell like shit, but no, we'll see you guys when we get home. It is currently two days in the future right now. And to be honest, I don't even know where to start. I don't really know how to explain how much has happened in the past 48 hours. 
Um, I'm basically in a new place. I'm here by myself. Brittany has actually gone to Houston and then I think she is going to be going home straight after that because I don't think that she's going to be um, coming back, you know. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to go into it. The past day has been pretty, like, pretty rough as it is. And the last thing I want is to just like blab on about my problems and my issues and all that kind of stuff. Um, maybe one day, but yeah, I don't think she's coming back. And I don't really know how to say it. I don't really know how to talk about it. Not only that, the living situation, the apartment that I said I was going to be staying in, I am no longer staying in that one because in the morning after me and Brittany got back from my birthday meal, something happened. It was a very violent experience involving somebody pulling a knife out on somebody else right outside the apartment, um, the the area or the situation I was in was just like unsafe. I walked in from like experiencing what actually happened with the knife and the fight outside, right outside the apartment. I went inside and I said, Brittany, pack up the bags, we are leaving. So I spent a day looking for a place, stayed at the Muscle Mansion, which is where Quentin and Anton actually live with a bunch of the guys that actually own the gym and some people that train there. It's like a big cool mansion. Maybe you'll see it one day in the future, but I spent the day looking for a place. I found a place right now. I'm gonna show you the actual location and new apartment in the next video and just like more about my current situation. What I do know is right now is I'm gonna end this video here. I actually have quite a busy day ahead of me. I need to buy toiletries and some groceries for this new place because a lot of the stuff that we did buy, it was really hard to just like transport everything because we had limited space with like both our things. I actually have a Tesla Model S right now. I don't have the Corvette. I actually had to give that back. But for the past day, I've been driving around the Tesla and it's very fun, it's very fast, and I'll show you it in the next video. And that's the car that I'm probably gonna have for the next six months. I may potentially be having a haircut a little bit later because as you can see, there is zero fade going on right now and it's a problem. It, mm, mm, you know, mm, yeah, it's a weird one and trying to keep it together. You know, I thought I was gonna be staying in the place I was in. Weird situation happened. Experience, I never thought I'd experience, but I did. Then something else happened. Brittany left, and she might not be coming back. I feel like I'm just being awkward. I don't know how to like express things right now. Either way, I'm gonna end the video. So if you enjoyed the video, please smash the like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I will hopefully see you guys in the next video. Peace.